Hey guys, this is Aaron. Um, I want to apologize for the massive watermark. Um, I didn't want to buy the full version of iShowU, so I just downloaded the demo version. So I know it's annoying, but uh, I'm going to have to deal with it. Um, right now, for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a click in Reason. Um, it's pretty easy um, once you get a hang of the program. Um, Alright, so the first thing you do when you uh, open your program is, well, there we go. Um, that's the demo song. Open a new one. Okay, so the first thing you do is create a redrum drum computer. That's the easiest way to do it. Alright, so uh, here's your redrum instrument, and basically it's used for making percussion in your reason file um, but I use it to make my click I think most people that use reason use it for that particular reason um, so the way this is set up is if you were in 4-4 um, each beat would have four buttons to choose from so you can do up to 16th notes right here uh, you can change with this tool um, and this tool to 8th notes or to how many beats you have in a measure, things like that, change your time signature. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to show you how to use a 4-4 uh, click. So what you want to do is um, I normally add one instrument on just on beat one. So this particular instrument is a snare, so I'm going to put that on beat one. All right. Um, let's say I want to add a shaker um, on that off beats. Okay. So, uh, right now, my on beats um, are going to be on 1, 5, 9, and 13. Because remember, each beat is going to be every four buttons. All right? So right now, I have a snare drum on beat 1. Um, I'm going to put my egg shaker on the off beats. So I'm going to click my egg shaker. Um, that's going to be on, if my beats are on 1, 5, 9, and 13, my off beats are going to be 3, 7, 11, and 15. Alright, let's say I want to put a tambourine on all of my down beats. Um, I'm going to change, you can click this folder to change the sound. Uh, I'm going to pick um, a tambourine sound. Yeah, that one works. Okay, I'm going to put that on all my downbeats, so 1, 5, 9, and 13. Um, so that's what it sounds like so far. Um, now I'm going to also add a wood block on the downbeat as well. So I have a wood block and a tambourine on my downbeats. Then I have the shaker on the offbeats. Alright, so I'm going to add again 1, 5, 9, and 13 on my downbeats. All right, so that's what my click sounds like right now. Okay, the wood block's really loud, so if I want to change the volume of a particular instrument or a percussion instrument, you just go to level and bring it down or up, depending on where you want it to go. I'm going to make my snare drum, which is on beat one, remember, so I click that. If you don't remember what uh, beats you have that particular instrument assigned to, just click select and it shows you. Um, so there's my snare drum. Um, that's right on beat one. So I'm, I really want that loud, so I'm going to crank that up. Um, so here's what it sounds like. There you go. Okay, so I mean that's just the way I make a click. You can do it um, any configuration you want, any sound you want. Um, you just want a, a definite distinction between your downbeat of one and all of your other downbeats because it's easier um, to get lost in a measure or get off a beat if you don't have that you know emphasized to beat one okay so as soon as you're done making your click um, you notice here I made it in pattern A1 alright so you can make them in different patterns A1 is just the default say and that's the easiest way to do it you come down here in your um, audio line click your reader channel you want to go up here to the uh, create pattern lane and that creates this second pattern lane down here. And to add your click to your audio lane, you want to click this little pencil. And then you're going to drag as far as you want 
your uh, click. So there it is. And now when I play, there it goes. So um, if you know that your song is going to be, let's say, 78 measures, you're going to drag this guy all the way up to 78. And now it's going to last for 78 measures. So uh, whenever you're done, take your little tool right here. That's the end where you want your audio file to end. Set it to end. Um, there it is. Um, let's say you want to bring your channel up or, you, or if you want to pan it, you come up here to your mixer. There's my channel right here. If I want it louder, obviously you bring the slider up. If you want to pan it, left or right, that's how you do it. Okay, let's say you made a track and um, you want your track and your, um, your click on the same file. So let's say you're not using Ableton where you can separate your files. You're just using iTunes or QuickTime or something to launch your uh, files and you're panning your track to one side and your click to one side. You'll actually want to open up your Reason file of that particular track and make a click within that file. And then you'll have all of your loop sounds in this mixer. And then you'll have your click sound. And you'll want to pan your click to left or right or whatever, all the way, as far as it'll go. And then pan your track channels to the opposite direction because you don't want any bleed over between your track and your click. So that's how you do it. Whenever you're done, come up here, click File, and then click Export Song as Audio File, and it'll send it out to uh, wherever you want it, and you'll be done. Um, what I do is as soon as I make a track and I'm done, or when I make a click, um, I save that as a file. I save that as my click file. So that way, whenever I want to make a click, I can just open that file, and it's already made, and I can just come through here, drag it as how long I want it, and then over here you set your tempo. So right now it's at 120. Let's say that my song that I'm making for is 74. So I set it to 74. Um, you can change your time signature. I'm right here, it tells you how long it is. Um, so yeah, so it's easier to do that so you don't have to recreate the whole file from scratch again every time you want to make a click. So see, like right here, here's my click track. Um, it's already made, so then I can just come through here, set it for however long I want it, set my tempo, and be done. So um, that easy. I hope um, I've helped you. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, just email me or comment me, and I will try to help you out. Thanks, guys.